I'm Sylvia. And I'm Jen. And we're the Soska sisters. We still are. And we've got stuff to give away, but this time, we're not looking for you to do anything except nominate somebody that you know who would never nominate themselves. We have a spiritual goodie gift package for somebody in your life who you know who would never go up for a competition, never ask for anything. Tell us who this person is and why we should give it to them and you might have hooked your friend up with a nice little gift. Jen. If you don't know, you should know. On my Etsy shop, I dabble in a little bit of the dark, okay, not so dark arts. <laughs> <laughs> and things that you can get and what you will get for this one person is a custom mala necklace, which is one of these with 108 beads for your I am affirmations. Powerful spiritual tool. They also get a custom spell jar charm. They also get a custom gemstone bracelet, and they also get a custom dream pillow. All you need to do is tell me a little bit about this person so I can understand what they need, like their favorite colors, if there's any stones they like, and also a little bit about what they're going through, particularly if they're the kind of person who is always giving but doesn't receive enough. Yeah, we're looking really forward to hearing who your nominations are. And also, we'd like to give away some free stuff. We are giving away autographs to people who have given us a question that we pick. Uh, you get to pick any autograph that you want, so let's see what the giveaways are right now. Actually, Jen, you should start. I start. You I get should to start. Be Jen first. gets to start. I, I keep start. directing. I can't stop. This is my favorite one. We've done three of these, and this is my favorite. Okay. <clears throat> this is from Claire Bonning. And her question is, your favorite self-care practices? Love you guys. Claire, I love you too. Oh, Claire. Claire was here. Claire underscore was Massive underscore Massive love. Here. That's a very nice, thank you for your nice message. Man, self-care is really hard because sometimes it feels selfish and sometimes you forget about it. But the most important thing is that you do take care of yourself because you are somebody too. So you're not giving people what's left of you. You're giving what's best of you. I like to read. I like to go for walks. I like to get dragged down the street by Jen's Rottweiler. That's like really relaxing for me. I like going to the water and I really like cooking. Yeah, I like cooking for people that I love and I like the whole process of going and finding the best food. I know it sounds dorky, but it's really nice to know that you can take care of people like that. I like to do something I used to hate to do. I like to be by myself. And it used to be the thing that terrifies me but when you turn off all of your machines, you're away from your loved ones, especially if you put yourself into nice surroundings and you go someplace that you really connect with, you get reconnected with your soul song, which is that little inner voice in your head. And usually that little voice is like, no, 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 all the time. But because we're on our phones, we're staring at a screen constantly, we're hearing everyone else's little nya, 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 nya voice. And we need to listen to our little nya, nya, nya voice. Even if the place that you go is just in the bath because you can't really leave, for me, it can be really difficult to sit still. So it's also a really good place to be. Uh, and if you feel that you can't be in there for half an hour, force yourself to have a bath for an hour. Yeah. It makes a world of difference. That time just to disconnect it means everything. So that's a great, whose question was that? That was Claire's. Claire, Claire great Bonnie. question. That was awesome, Claire. My next question is from Kaz Hecate. I hope I'm saying that right. Oh, I hope that's how it's said. Your Etsy store is full of your handmade magical items. Do you ladies have any plans or wishes to film an all-out occult slash witchy film in the future? Whispers, pretty witchy, please. Oh my god. Us. I know, it's like the greatest. I would love to. Uh, I would have loved to remake the craft, but I will just make... You Don't know, you have enough remakes, Jen? I How have. greedy do you have to be? I know, I know. I already have one. So uh, I, I would say that, yeah, I would definitely love to because uh, when I was a little girl and watched things like the craft, I like to find stuff with actual ancient traditional practices in it because if you try magic, you want something to happen. So yeah, I'd probably make one with actual witchcraft with a warning that says, don't try any of these things. Yeah, and then there is, uh, there's a very occulty uh, project we're attached to right now. It's a television adaption of the great god Pan. And it would be a disservice not to add a few, uh, I mean, make that as authentic as possible. I mean, you don't want to offend the great god Pan when you're making a show about him, would you? It's really bad, bad form. 
<laughs> no, he's a naughty little minx. He wouldn't want to do that. Kaz, excellent question. That was wonderful. Message us and let us know which one of our autographs you want. We'll sign it, send it with love. And my last question is from Mike Butler. Mike Butler, Hi. 76. Hello, Mike. <clears throat> How on earth do you keep up with your social media accounts with all the likes, comments, tags, and things you post and still have time to do it all the things that you love? I don't. I There's don't. two of me. That's how I do it. <laughs> Something always suffers, I find. Like, if I'm on top of my, my social media posts, I'm probably not going for that, like, mindful walk that I wanted yeah. to go for. It's all about balance. Like, if you don't do it today, try and do it tomorrow. I try to get back to everybody as much as possible, and uh, I kind of seek people out. Like, sometimes I'll search American Mary just to be like, ha ha, you were talking about me creepily. I saw you. Thank you for saying that. It's nice. I, I mean, like, we started in theater and the nice thing was that your audience was right there so if you sucked or they liked it you knew right away here you have to be a creep and be like i wonder what anyone thinks of my art i'll go out and find them I'm just so. gonna start scrolling my mentions yeah. oh, yes. oh, oh well there we go thank you <laughs> thank you mike that was a great question your autograph is coming and the last one is not a question oh. derek robert downey when i posted this wrote giveaway is lovely I want to win something just so my lovely wife can have what she deserves. She is my world. Well, Derek, we're going to put together a little prize package just for your wife. So make sure that we get your address because that was really right. nice. That was very sweet. And that was exactly what this particular giveaway was about. You beat us to it. If you could hear that, even Princess Diana agrees. Yeah. So guys, thank you so much, and I am looking forward to finding out about, about all these great, nice, special people in your life. Yeah, nominations need to be in by December 11th this year, which is our company anniversary. Yeah. And we'll, they'll be on social media. We'll find you. So we'll find you. Just keep posting. Yeah.